Harry turns pale as better up accused of stealing researchers' data to sell to the Department of Defence. Prince Harry's company, BetterUp, the human transformation platform, today announced its open call for submissions for the first annual research prize bestowed by the Centre for Purpose and Performance, chaired by renowned organisational psychologist and author Adam Grant. The centre was founded in 2022 to deepen the understanding of the intersection of well-being, purpose and performance. The centre's prize recipients will be announced in spring 2024, The grand prize winner will receive $100,000 and two distinction award winners will receive $50,000 each to bring their research proposals to life. In fact, the company has run out of ideas and will pay for control of theirs. These tricks to get ideas for free, they'll make authors sign for handing over the intellectual rights and use them. That's what also many universities and conferences do, request for submissions and publish them, asking authors to give up their rights in most cases for free. Nowadays, they even charge authors to present their papers at conferences. There's a wait list which asks for a work email and phone number, optional. BetterUp wants to control who attends this uber private event. Six of the eight listed speakers are BetterUp honchos, but El Chimpo isn't listed. Perhaps after his It's All I Was Offered gaffe at the Uplift Massive Eye Roll Summit, Robichaud and Grant agreed El Chimpo is better left at home. But will he really be excluded? What's the point of keeping him on staff if they're not going to trot him out to dance for the luminaries who will undoubtedly be attending? Prince Harry will return to New York City to attend the awards ceremony. Someone qualified to propose and complete the study, including data analysis, likely already has a paid affiliation with a research institution, university, or another large corporate entity. Who has 18 months to spend on better ups, Harry? Likely not someone with the expertise they desire for a meagre grant and no benefits. His company is desperate to write a PR post on Business Wire to encourage people to provide ideas for them. Lots of ethical issues getting funded by a private company that wants to partner with the project. Typically, a granting institution would allow the researcher more autonomy. Thought they were already affiliated with a whole stable of world-renowned psychologists already. Who's going to oversee the IRB approval? the company that's contracting for user research to be used to bolster the bottom line. Better up shady, as they got 10 million last year from the government for some reason, but they have no actual address. The ink papers are officially categorised as an SAAS, software as a service, too. They're harvesting data and selling it to the Department of Defence. That should be a crime. So the tax dollars are going to yet more. It comes as Prince Harry is allegedly battling a massive realisation regarding his strategy against the royal family. The conversation arose once the insiders started to accuse the Montecito couple of trying to use Buckingham Palace now that the star power is dwindling. For those unversed, the same insider also accused the couple of behaving so badly that it's bizarre. Experts are questioning Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's increased amounts of leaks to the press, just a year after they lashed out at the royal family for spilling on them. Talk TV Joual editor Sarah Hewson has hit out on the Sussexes and said if they really want to reconcile with the royal family, they can't have it in all of the papers.